Hey everyone, my name is Trent Dawson. I'm the artistic director of Katona Classic Stage, uh, coming to you with another do-it-yourself during the pandemic uh, video for our short film festival, for your short film that we can't wait to see. We hope your film was inspired in some way by classic theater and the do-it-yourself nature of the times that we live in, but that's a, those are suggestions. They're not rules. Um, last time I talked about lights, and this time I want to talk about dollies, the camera dolly. You're looking at one of my favorite dolly shots ever, Grana's Henry V. Uh, this is a tracking shot, meaning the dolly's on a track, um, but I'll get to that later. Um, so, what is a dolly? Dolly, in Hollywood terms, is, is like this big, heavy thing. It, it involves uh, uh, craftspeople and, and, and specialists like grips to, to move a dolly back and forth. Um, and it's, it involves a lot of things that I don't have, <laughs> including a crew, and neither do you. So that's what these videos are for. Fundamentally, a dolly is this, right? It's a furniture dolly. Um, I will save you the time and the trouble of trying to put some plywood down here and your camera on top of that and use this as a dolly. It stinks, uh, mainly because of these casters and these wheels and also the weight of it. Um, but I needed to make something that could approximate that, and even though I don't have the skills of a grip and I'm not a carpenter and a designer and all this sorts of stuff, hey, let's do it yourself. Let's, let's figure out how we can make that, we can approximate what those folks do. Uh, and so I decided the first thing I need to do is address the wheels. I needed a smooth ride for the dolly shot. And what did I have around the house that could give me a smooth ride? And the first thing I thought of is I've had these in the garage for a long time and I haven't used them in a long time. There's rollerblades. Uh, I took the uh, wheels off of them. The rollerblade wheels are really smooth rides, as far as I can remember. Uh, and sure enough, they worked uh, really well. Um, and the next thing I needed was some way to attach those blades to whatever it was I was going to use to mount my camera, my tripod, whatever it was, um, onto platform of plywood and I chose skateboard trucks. Uh, those work quite well. Um, the, the wheels from the rollerblades go on very easily and you're all set. And if I can show you basically like this, um, I just made sure that this is very even and lined up uh, so that you're not uh, getting all squirrely in how it moves. Uh, and this ended up looking like something, you know, Marty McFly would use, uh, but it works. It's a very smooth ride. Uh, and goes where I want it to go. The next thing I needed to think about was how was I going to attach my camera. The shot I wanted to use this for was very low to the ground. I'm following someone's feet as they run. And so I didn't need to put anything else on top of here. Uh, and this is quite small by Dolly standards, but it worked for my prototype. Uh, so I learned something very important. It's very important through all these videos is what kind of bolt goes into your camera. And the kind of bolt is called a quarter 20. It's this bolt. I'll have another picture of it. You'll probably get it at Kellogg's and Lawrence. Uh, and you drill a hole into your plywood or whatever you're using. You stick that quarter 20 in there and I put like a, a washer uh, on there. Um, you can put a bolt on there or a nut on there uh, if you want to hold this into place. Uh, and this is critical. This is, this, goes, this is the same thing that you're going to find on a, a tripod or a quick release thing on a tripod. Um, this is the same bolt. So I screwed my camera just right on top of here. The camera I'm shooting with right now, I screwed it on top of here and it looked great. A couple of problems I still had. One, it was really light. And that means that if I moved it, it kind of bounced around. It really reacted to any imperfection in my floor, no matter how smooth my floor was. So I needed to add some weight. And I happened to have some barbell weights. I took these, I plopped them onto my board like this. Uh, and then in this case, you can use whatever you want. I used some clips that I had in the garage clipped the weights on there and that gave it, that grounded it a bit. And lastly, I wanted a way to move um, the, the dolly and, and I needed a handle. So I found some old scrap wood in my garage, cut it at an angle. I stuck it on like this. And then I found some old like molding or something. I don't even know what this is anymore. And I was able to attach it here. And eventually I had something I could push along the floor. I could aim where I needed it to go. Uh, and I called it the scorpion because I think it looks like one uh, and this was really pretty darn effective Now If you're doing a quick shot like I was doing this is fine it may not be fine by Hollywood standards But for our do-it-yourself film, it's totally fine if you want to do something slow like you're moving in very slowly, which is another shot I had in the film or moving back 
uh, then you got something to think about because any imperfection is going to show up. So what you probably need to do is build a do-it-yourself track. And that's what I'm going to be talking about next. Oh,